Good morning! Welcome to Pajama Church. I'm Miss Dallas and I am so happy you're here with us. Now, if you are new, or even if you've been watching for a while, this is our new Pajama Church. Do you love it? I love it. I'm just unloading stuff. It's all so fun. And right now in my hand, I have a basket. You know what's cool about that? We're gonna be talking about a really special basket today. And there is somebody even more special that gets placed in one, baby Moses. Do you know this story? Well, today we get to talk about that with Ollie, one of our favorites. So let's get started. After we watch Ollie, I get to introduce a new friend to us today at Pajama Church. This is going to be so fun. So stick around and I will see you shortly. Who? Who? You know what time it is? Time to hear a story. Puddles, and I dropped my favorite teddy bear in one. <sighs> I really don't want to go back out in that rain again. Oh no, it's time to go home for lunch. Mom said to come home when the alarm goes off. That means leaving this warm, dry clubhouse and running home in all this rain. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Ho, ho, this rain has you feeling a little blue. Hi, Ollie, it sure does. It's been raining for days and days now, and my mom needs me to come home for lunch. I know I need to do what she says, but I just don't want to get all wet. Doing what you're told can be hard, it's true. I've got a story just for you. Just listen up. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. It's been such a rainy day. It's easy to get down sometimes when you're in the rain or when things don't go your way. But I've got a story that might help. Do you want to hear it? You do? Great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. This story begins with a king named King Nebuchadnezzar. King Nebuchadnezzar thought he was the very best king there ever was, and he wanted everyone to know it. One day, he had an idea. He had his people make a giant golden statue of him. Now, when I say giant, I mean giant. Wow, look at that. That is huge. And King Nebuchadnezzar loved it so much. So he told all of the people in the kingdom to gather around. Then he told them that every time the music played, 
<clears throat> Every time the music played, I guess we need a little music. Can you guys help me? Get out your pretend trumpets like this. Bum, ba -da -bum. And when I say the word music, you play. Ready? Music. Bum, ba -da -bum. Perfect. Trumpets down. Okay. So the king told everyone every time the music played that he wanted everyone to bow down to the statue. That's great. Trumpets down. The king said that if you didn't bow down, he was going to throw you into the fire. Everyone say, dun, 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 dun. Whoa. And the king was serious. So each day the music played and everyone in the crowd bowed down. Wait, stop the music. Not everyone is bowing. How many people do you see standing? Can you count them? One, two, three. Yes, there are three men that did not bow. Their names were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They loved God and wanted to obey him. God had told them never to bow down to anyone but him. So they did not bow down to the statue. How do you think the king felt when he saw these three not bowing? Do you think he was happy? No, he was very mad. The king ordered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to be thrown into the fire. Everyone say, dun, 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 dun. Whoa, if I were them, I would be so afraid. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were not afraid. They knew that God was with them and that no matter what happens, God's got it. So they went into the fire. But then something happened. Look, how many people do you see? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Four shadows. Someone else was in the fire. It was an angel sent by God to protect Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. How cool is that? And look at King Nebuchadnezzar. He is so amazed. He had never seen anything like this. And the king said, come out of the fire. So they all came out and they weren't hurt at all. Wow, God was with them and saved them from the fire. From that day on, the king prayed only to God. <laughs> what an incredible story. And don't forget that no matter what, God is always with us. God's got it. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God was with the three friends, and he will be with you too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, what a great story. God was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego through a really scary time. God stayed with them and did not leave them. God is always with us too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did say got it, get it? Got it! Good! Well, I know God will be with me in the rain and I need to do what mom says. So, here I go. See you guys next time. Bye! And what special thing do you want to show us? Tool belt. From 
Sometimes I like to go outside Sometimes I like to run and hide But I know all the time All the time You are with me Always with me Because Welcome back, Gathering Littles. Did you have fun at Pajama Church today? I loved the music, I loved seeing our friend, and I loved the story. Isn't it amazing that God can use something as simple as a basket to be a part of his story? Would you like to pray with me today before we go? All right, so let's get cozy. Hands up, hands together, hands down, head down. Dear God, thank you for loving us on bright and sunny days and on these rainy days. Thank you that no matter what, you are with us and you love us. In Jesus' name, amen. Kiddos, I just love this new space. Do you want to meet me here next week for Pajama Church? Let's do that. Have a great week, and thank you so much for joining us today. Bye.